Hello and welcome to the Hardcore Iron Man series. I am super excited to make this series and the account. I can't wait to see how far we can get it. I do want to state one thing before we get this series underway. If we ever lose the Hardcore status, I will be starting again. I don't care if I'm a couple of levels away from maxing. I want the Hardcore Iron Man status. That's what I want. That has been stated. We've got that out of the way. It's time to create our character. I'm going for my signature look, which I go with every character. This is the beginning. Let's go. Wow, hardcore luck already coming in. An XP lamp as soon as we land on the mainland. Huge. So first thing we've got to do is go and speak to Juan, the Venezuelan armor guy. Thank you very much, Juan. Appreciate it, mate. And we're going to wear it with pride. Oh yeah, we are a hardcore Iron Man, by the way. Huge, huge stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the Night Sword done. We need 10 cooking so we can make a red berry pie, and we need level 5 mining. Other than that, we're good to go. And it gives 29 smithing once you've done the quest, so it's just such a good quest to get out of the way. So let's get on to those requirements. That is the first level on the hardcore level 2 fishing. I'm just going to cook the shrimp until level 10 cooking. Just seems like I might as well get fishing and cooking together. So that's the plan for this. This dude said hola to me. And so I was like, oh, fuck it. I'll be nice and say hola back. And he's just slid straight into my DMs. I have no idea what he's talking about. If anyone can, like, speak Spanish, I'm guessing this is Spanish. Let me know. So just from an inventory, we nearly got six cooking right there. So that was super quick. We did burn quite a few. I'm also going to get five thieving because then I can steal from cake stalls, which are really good early level food. This should be the one. Five coming in. Oh, okay. Boom. There we go. Five thieving coming in. So we can now steal from cake stalls, which is one of the things you got to do for the RD tasks. Let's go and just get this fishing up. We made 147 GP. Wow, we're rich. Oh, we got a random event. You're meant to do these as a hardcore, aren't you? Yes, I'll do a mime show. Let's go. Let's see what we're going to get. Excuse Linky Boy here. He doesn't get out very often and uh, he's having a whale of a time. He can't remember the last time he had a better night. Look at that man. Is that a face of happiness? I believe so. Oh, we got the mime mask. That's That's pretty cool. That's some fashion scape. We can add that to the fashion scape list. Oh, I was just getting some levels because we had so much food left over. I thought I might as well just bash out a few levels on these men and women. Got a rain art, so that is going to be saved in the bank for later. Huge stuff. That is 10 cooking, which means we can cook red berry pies. We just need five mining now, and then we can get on to doing this quest. I'm giving in. I want the inventory space, so I'm just going to put it into hit points. I know that's rude, but 120 hit points. I'll take that right now. I'll take that. So we needed 10 mining, not 5, but that is about to come in now. I also need 2 iron bars, and I can kill monsters for them and hope they drop it to me, but I could be waiting ages for that, or I can go into the wilderness and pick a couple up. We're early on in the account, let's do it. Right, here we go. <laughs> I'm just going to walk a few forward, and then I am going to hop, just in case anyone saw. I mean, the name sort of gives away that I might be a hardcore iron man, so uh, we're going to hop over to a different world. Yeah. There's the iron bar. I don't want to get caught by a bear because I want to be able to log straight out. So if we go and grab that and then hop worlds without getting aggroed, that would be beautiful. Boom, let's go to, yeah. And then we can get out of it. Let's go. Iron bar, huge. Two iron bars, that's all we need. Let's run. I think we're going to be good. Okay, so we made it. So let's go and get the remainder of the items we need to complete this quest. And let's bang it out. We need to make a red berry pie. I'm going to pick three red berries and make three red berry pies just so that I have enough in case I burn them. Yoink. 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 I'm literally already falling in love with this game mode. Like, I have to do all this. You have to make your own flour, get your own pots. Just brings me back to when I was younger and played and, like, there was no grand exchange and you just had to go and do this sort of stuff yourself. Honestly, the nostalgia is real. We're going to make three of these pots of flour and then hopefully make them into pastry dough and get these red berry pies done. Boom, there we go. So we have three uncooked berry pies. We need to go and cook these. I believe you have to cook them on a range. So we're going to go back and cook these on a range. Here we go. Are we going to cook them? Oh, we could have just made one. But, oh, and we cooked another one and got a cooking level. Nothing there that I really need. No. And are we going to cook the last one? Oh, I cooked all three. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I've been a bit of an idiot and haven't saved any run. And this mugger is giving me a hard, hard time. 
Um, okay, he's left me alone. I know we get a hobgoblin in a minute, so it's probably best just to aggro one of the pirates. Oh god, okay. Right, we only need one of these. Blurite! Oh my god. Dude, what the fuck? That's more than my food heals. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. Okay, cool. We got it. We got it. Right, um, do you know what? We really need to get some magic levels so that we can start teleporting around the map. That needs to be a priority. Okay, so we've got everything we need now. This should be the end of it. I have them right here. Boom, thank you very much. Just remember to call in with more pie. <laughs> Little does he know I've got one right there. You don't need any more, man, honestly. And that is quest complete. Nearly 13,000 smithing XP there. Takes us to 29 smithing. So I really want to get into an AFK skill, and I think woodcutting is a great place to start. Alongside that, I can also fletch. So that's two skills at once. Fletching can make some decent money if you sell them all and hop worlds to shops and stuff. So we need to start getting a cash stack together anyway. So it seems to be the way to go. So what I'm going to do is just get some woodcutting levels and smash out some fletching. I could not believe how slow fletching was compared to woodcutting. So what I've gone and done is decided to go back to the chickens, just start killing them, get a bit of XP in melee stats as well as just getting some feathers because they're way, way, way quicker than cutting arrow shafts because arrow shafts are so slow. So we're going to do this until we're 10 and then I'll be able to make longbows. So we've got 10 fletching and we also got 13 strength doing that. And yes, that is a bronze mace. <laughs> I had some bronze bars, which I made into maces, and it was the only weapon we had, so yeah. But uh, level 13 actually gives us a new max hit, so we can now hit a 3, even with the mace, which is pretty cool. Should mean that the attack and defense should be pretty quick to uh, get leveled up once we have better weapons as well. But we'll get back to cutting logs now, and each fletch will now give us double XP, 10 rather than 5, which is nice. So we're up to 22 fletching and 31 wood cutting, but with a bronze axe, the wood cutting is so slow. And obviously, if we can get logs quicker, we can fletch them quicker, so more XP. Since we got the smithing level, we can now go and make an iron axe, but we need to make some iron bars. So what I'm going to do is go and get five mining levels, make some iron bars, and grab ourselves an iron axe for those upgrades. That is 15 mining coming in, and there is three iron rocks here, so I think I'm just going to mine an inventory of iron here. You know, it could be useful to have some bars spare. So I'm going to drop all these and get ourselves an inventory of iron. So a full inventory only got me 12 iron bars, but that's going to be enough for what we need to do. I'll probably make an iron axe and then maybe just some iron knives, to be honest, because we can use them straight away. And they just seem to be like the best and quickest range XP, you know, for this level at the moment. So probably make the rest into those. Oh, actually, we can make a scimitar. Definitely make one of those. Awesome. And then we're definitely going to make the axe as well, which costs one bar. And from there, I think iron knives. Let's do it. Let's treat ourselves. You've got to treat yourself every so often. Look at that. Oh. Uh, is there anything else? I bet I look and I'm like, oh yeah, that, that, that would be nice. No, okay. <laughs> we'll go for the knives. They're not going to last us very long because we don't have an Avis or anything. But, you know, it's it's a little bit of extra stuff to help us. That is going to be a smithing level coming in as well. 30 smithing is going to be coming in, which means we can now smelt steel bars that's huge the upgrades are in we got the kite shield and the scimitar and we've got the iron axe now so we can cut these oaks a lot quicker and fletch them way 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 quicker in the next episode i'd like to do the easy ardoin uh, achievement diary so that we get the ardy cloak one because that means we'll have a free teleport and a one-click teleport to the other side of the map, which will be really, really useful. It teleports you straight to the monastery, and you literally, it's its a good cape as well. So that would be a really good upgrade that I think we need to get in the next episode. I want that easy access over to that side. I also need to get high alchemy ASAP, which means we need to get some nature runes together. We can definitely go and buy ourselves a fire staff. So we need to work out a way to make some money so that we can afford to get all of these levels up, because 55 doesn't come cheap at this level we've got quite a few bows now that we could string which would give us some crafting xp and fletching xp along with the fact that they'd be worth a little bit more i think oak short bows strung are worth about 64 in shops each which isn't too bad money that's a few runes here and there before we go these are the stats that we ended on after the first episode i'm pretty happy with the gains i think that's pretty good for our first outing i'm super looking forward to getting into this account let me know if you're excited for this series as well guys down below i would appreciate some support for the hardcore iron man by the way never gonna give you up i'm never gonna let you go never gonna say goodbye no